Hi guys, today I am going to do a tutorial for Bus Simulator 2012. This game just came out a week ago, and I thought I might as well help out some people that play this game but do not speak German, since this game is only available in German for the time being. As soon as you start the game, you will get a dialog box where you can type in your name, select if you are male or female, and specify your date of birth with the three bars for day, month, and year. In the next box that pops up, you are given your randomly generated driver ID and password. We will learn what is important about these numbers shortly. In the next box, you can choose if you want to play the game in beginner or expert mode. I will tell you the differences between the two modes throughout this tutorial. Now, let's do a quick coverage of walking controls. Press W to walk forward, S to walk backward, A or D to pivot left or right and W and shift at the same time to run. You have probably noticed that you spawn in front of the depot at the start of the game, and your bus is in there. So let's go into the depot now. Walk or run over to the switch, and left click at it when the yellow text appears. The door will swing open and your bus is waiting inside. If you walk over to this document holder, you can choose if you want an articulated bus or a regular bus. But I am just going to use the regular bus for the tutorial. Before we get in the bus though, first let's walk over to this board and select our route to drive today. There are a total of 11 bus lines available in the game. When you have your route selected, enter the bus, and press C to sit down. When you are seated, press P, and then E to switch on the bus's main power system. Once you turn on the main power system, the seat controls will appear on screen. You can adjust the seat to your liking with F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, and F8, then press F12 if you want to keep your setting, but if you do not think you need to adjust the seat, just press F11 to close it. Now press numpad period to view the tachograph device. Insert your driver card into slot 1 by holding down the mouse button and dragging it down. The tachograph is like a black box. It records the speed, condition and state of the bus throughout the journey. Setting up the device is mandatory in expert mode. When the tachograph is ready, press enter to view the combined ticket machine and IB system. Now here is where the driver ID and password come in, you will have to enter them here. If you have forgotten them, you can press F1 and go into your driver profile. My driver number is 2844, and my password is 9836. After you have entered them both in, you will have to enter your 8 digit root number and your 2 or 3 digit line number, both of which you can find out by pressing F8. First I will enter my root number, 8023982, and then my line number, 80. After that, you will have to select which direction you want to drive the route in, the directions represented by EIN and AUS. If you press F8, you can see which direction you have selected back at the board. I have selected the AUS trip, so I will select AUS in the system using the blue arrow buttons on the console. Now, wait a few seconds, and the system should set the destination sign automatically. Now press P to switch on the ignition. The warning lights on the dashboard should light up momentarily. When they go out, press P again to start the engine. Be before we go anywhere, let's take a look at some of the controls. Press numpad 7 to look at the left side of the panel, which contains the controls for the lights, as well as some others. Left clicking rotary switches turns them right, and right clicking them turns them left. You can turn on the headlights with numpad star, and off with numpad slash. 
You can toggle the interior lighting with the S and X keys, and you can set them so that half of them are on, or so that all of them are on. And you can turn the driver's area light on and off with the L key. However, both the interior lighting and the driver's area light can only be turned on if the headlights are turned on at least at the second notch. Pressing numpad 8 gives you a closer look at the speedometer and display screen, and numpad 9 views the right side of the panel, which contains the door controls, kneeling button, gear shift selectors, etc. If you press numpad 6, you can view the key switch, which can be left or right click to switch the ignition on and off. Numpad 4 views the controls for the heating and ventilation system, where you can turn up the heat in the bus. It is generally really straightforward, but when it rains, you have to turn the fan up and turn the switch on the left to the windshield blowing notch, to prevent the windshield from fogging up. Numpad 5 use the parking brake handle and some other switches, including an auxiliary switch to turn the engine on and off, as well as the control for the driver side window, but you can also just left and right click the window itself or press 3 or 4. You can open and close the front door with Numpad 1, the back door with Numpad 2, and, if you are using the articulated bus, the third door with Numpad 3. Now, let's put the transmission into the drive position. To do this, you have to hold down the brake, and press page up. Holding the brake and pressing page down will put it back into neutral. You will hear the engine making a different idling sound when it is in a drive gear. And one more thing before we start driving, by pressing right out you can view the screen here, which is for the rear view backup camera. Putting the transmission into reverse will activate it, so you can see where you are going. Now, time to release the parking brake. The parking brake has a safety feature, where you have to press backspace and the insert key at the same time to release it. But to apply it, you only have to press insert. The up arrow key is the gas pedal, the down arrow key is the brake, and the left and right arrow keys steer. I am playing on expert mode, which is why the keyboard steering is like this, in beginner mode the steering wheel turns a lot faster with the taps of the left and right arrow keys. Drive the bus out of the depot and out to the street, and then follow the red line on the map, which will lead you to the starting point of your route. You can press tab to view the full-size map of the city, to see exactly where the red line is leading you. By the way, the wipers can be turned on and sped up with the 9 key, and slowed down and turned off with the 8 key. And the blinkers are controlled with the comma and period keys, and the four ways can be turned on or off with the W key. So, from here on until I reach the first bus stop of the route, this is very straightforward, just follow the red line, and you will eventually get there.
so I will cut this out and be back when I reach the route starting point. When you arrive at the starting bus stop, apply the bus stop brake with the delete key, and open the door. You will notice that some passengers will want to enter through the rear door, so open the rear door too for those that will. You will never know when new passengers will spawn at the bus stop wanting to board your bus, so be careful of this. Sometimes you will just have to reopen the doors when something like this happens, some passengers will ask for a ticket. In this game, and ticket you will ticket. not only have to print the correct ticket for them, but you will also have to give them change. This person is a student, so I will collect his money, press enter to view the ticket machine, press the STUD button, enter in the amount of money the passenger gave me, and press the print button to display the amount of change I need to give him, then press the print button again to print the ticket. I will now click on the buttons on the change machine to give the passenger the certain amount of change that is dispensed with the certain buttons, and I will add up to the amount of change the passenger needs. Very simple once you get the hang of it. I'm up. Another ticket buyer, same process. This person is a retiree, which is indicated, so I will press the REN button. This person needs a lot of change, however, so I will open this little drawer here, and give him a 10 euro bill to ease the change process. Once you are absolutely sure that there is no more passengers that need to board, close the door. You do not have to worry about pressing delete again to release the bus stop brake, it will release automatically when you start driving as long as the doors are closed. Now follow the yellow line on the map, and stop at all the bus stops. The bus stops are indicated on the map by a yellow H in a yellow circle. The bus also has automated announcements for the bus stops too. I am going to finish the route off camera, and show you what happens, and what you are supposed to do, at the last bus stop. last bus stop, the last stop announcement will play, and the destination sign will automatically change to what translates to do not enter, which indicates the bus is no longer in service. All your passengers will exit as well, when you open the doors. So what do you do if you want to do the return trip of the route? Press enter to view the ticket machine, and press the blue button with the letter F on it. Now navigate to where it says Curse, using the arrow buttons, and select it. I just drove the AUS direction of the route, so I will select the opposite direction, EIN. Once you do this, the return trip will automatically start, and you know what happens from here. So I would like to say thank you for watching. And I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Feel free to subscribe if you did, as I will be making more videos of this game shortly. Thank you, and bye.